China operates a number of supercomputer centers which, altogether, hold 29.3% performance share of world's fastest 500 supercomputers. The origins of these centers go back to 1989, when the State Planning Commission, the State Science and Technology Commission, and the World Bank jointly launched a project to develop networking and supercomputer facilities in China. In addition to network facilities, the project included three supercomputer centers. China's Sunway Taihulite ranks second in the TOP500 list. As of 2018, China dominated the globe's highest performance machines list with 206 out of the top 500 fastest supercomputers in the world, exceeding the second placing United States, which had 124. Topic: <laughs> Progress. The progress of supercomputing in China has been rapid. The country's most powerful supercomputer placed 43rd in November 2002, DeepComp 1800, 11th by November 2003, DeepComp 6800, 10th by June 2004, Donning 4000A, and by November 2010, Tianhai 1A held top spot. China would go on to fall behind Japan in June 2011 until June 2013 when the country's most powerful supercomputer once again clocked in as the world record. Prior to the Sunway Taihulite, Chinese supercomputers have used off the shelf processors, e.g., Tianhai I uses thousands of Intel and NVIDIA chips, and uses the Linux operating system which is open source software. However, to avoid possible future technology embargo restrictions, the Chinese are developing their own processors such as the Longson, a MIPS type processor. According to the MIT Technology Review, the Longson processor would power the Donning supercomputers by 2012, producing a line of totally Chinese made supercomputers that reach petaflop speeds. Topic: Supercomputing centers. Topic: SCCAS. The Supercomputing Center of the China Academy of Sciences (SCCAS) provides academic support functions to the national centers. SCCAS, which is located in Beijing, is the northern main node and operation center for China National Grid CN Grid. Topic: <laughs> Guangzhou The National Supercomputer Center in Guangzhou operates the fourth most powerful supercomputer in the world as of June 2018, Tianhe 2, Milky Way 2, which runs at 33,000 teraflops. It also operates the Tianhe 1A Guangzhou Solution, NUDTYHMPP supercomputer that runs at 211 teraflops. Topic Changsha Foundations for a new major branch of the National Supercomputing Center were laid in Changsha on the 28th of November 2010. It operates the Tianhe 1A Hunan solution, NUDTYHMPP supercomputer which runs at 1,342 teraflops. Topic: 
Topic: Jinan. The National Supercomputing Center in Jinan operates the Sunway Blue Light MPP supercomputer that runs at 795 teraflops. Topic: <laughs> Shanghai The Shanghai Supercomputer Center operates the Magic Cube supercomputer that runs at 230 teraflops. Topic: <inaudible> Shenzhen. The National Supercomputing Center in Shenzhen houses the second fastest machine in China and the third fastest in the world. In May 2010 the Nebulae computer in Shenzhen placed second on the top 500 supercomputer list, after the Cray computer at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee. Tianjin <inaudible> 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 The National Supercomputing Center in Tianjin is one of the main centers. It houses the Tianhe I supercomputer which in October 2010 became the top speed record holder in the world by consistently operating at 2.507 petaflops. The Tianjin Computer Institute had been active as far back as 1984 when it developed the 16-bit TQ0671 microcomputer system. A commercial affiliate of the Tianjin Center had previously made the PHP C100 personal supercomputer in 2008 which was about twice the size of a normal desktop computer, but had 40 times the speed. In 2010 a second generation model was released. Wuxi. The National Supercomputing Center in Wuxi houses the Sunway Taihulite supercomputer, the second most powerful supercomputer in the world as of June 2018. See also History of supercomputing Supercomputer architecture Supercomputing in Europe Supercomputing in India Supercomputing in Japan Supercomputing in Pakistan <laughs>